pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Wibby darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, oh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll nay have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy! Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay, you're the boss. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like.
Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. Glory! <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. Are you here, Mr. Beakley? Because you're freezing, Mr. McDuck. This will keep your insides warm and toasty. Ah, oh, thank you kindly, dear. I hope you're taking care of the boys, Mr. McDuck. They're always finding their way into mischief.
tail feathers. Will wonders never cease? Launchpad, that crate looks almost airworthy. Don't crack up what you can't fix up, I always say. Any luck finding that fuel regulator? Ugh, no. Some wee beasties ran off with it in pieces. They've got to be down there somewhere. All right, but I'm gonna need it before I can finish any more repairs. Is there not something else to keep you busy while you wait? Nope. Good. Enjoy the downtime then. Gee, thanks, boss. Because I'm docking your fee till I get back. Gee, thanks. the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. Bubba Duck! Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scoot say, Baba! Scoot say, Baba! Scoot say, Baba! Baba helps Scrooge. Baba helps Scrooge forever. You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant ice box. What do you say, Baba? Ooga, ooga! In that case, follow me, lad.
this before. This is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. There you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this <clears throat> order. <clears throat> Do it! Now there's your problem. Webbergale! What in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Strap in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launch pad. Knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz. I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety-splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat! Only you could sink so low! And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me! <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boys! One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down! is the 
craziest flight I've ever flown. Here comes a 10 megaton finder's fee, McDuck. Knock it off, McDuck! Be careful, Uncle Scrooge! Hey, what? <laughs> Scrooge! Wow! Usually for a ride like this, you have to buy a ticket. Profit on this, McDuck. Hurry, you fools! He's catching up. You haven't seen the last of me, McDuck. Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around, and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <sighs> Wasn't me. <laughs> That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go. Don't no worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you.
Abby. Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm, did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. <laughs>